Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll share my Codevitas interview experience. If you don't know Hindi or if you are more comfortable in Hindi, this video is also available in Hindi on my main channel. So you can watch that link is in description on this channel guys. I upload videos in English. So do subscribe to my channel. Do support this channel also. And now let's start this video. On 22nd of July guys, we got a mail that you cleared this contest. And then guys, after 10 days on 1st of August, we got a mail that your interview will be on 5th of August. So guys, after 15 days, we had our interview, right? So this was the scenario. Now, what were the questions that were asked in interview? So all the questions which were asked from me and from my friends, I have written in my laptop. So now let's see them. Okay, one by one. So guys, the most important thing is your project, whichever you have made in your BTEC or in your MCA or in your any degree, right? So that is a very important thing. So most of the time projects were discussed. And guys, when we talk of interviews, the average duration was from 30 to 40 minutes of a single interview. Guys, generally we have three interviews. Okay. First one is the technical, second is the managerial and it can also be technical too in some cases. And then afterwards we'll have one HR interview. So guys, without further ado, let's discuss the question which were asked in the code beta interview. So guys, first of all, OOPS concepts are very important, like your polymorphism, abstraction and so on. They may ask you that, that given example of polymorphism with the help of a code. Okay, so they may ask you this thing also. They may ask you some theoretical questions as well, like what is software engineering, right? Black box testing and so on. They may also ask what are OSI layers, give description about them. Okay, what are the functions? They may ask this also. And guys, when we talk of uh, DBMS questions, the most frequently asked questions were, what is normalization and what is denormalization? Okay, why normalization is required? What is 1NF, 2NF, BCNF and so on. So these were the things they were focusing on. And the most important thing guys, they were asking SQL queries from almost everybody. Like uh, give the second highest salary of an employee. And guys, they were also asking leave first two records and then print three records after that. Okay, so these were the type of questions which were being asked in SQL. They were asking you about joins. What is inner join, outer join? How many types of joins are there? How will you implement them? So you should know the queries as well, right? And guys, they also asked GDL versus DML in SQL. And they were also discussing about ER diagrams like what is a weak entity? Okay, what is a relationship? How will you show relationship between two objects and so on? So you should know everything about ER diagrams as well. Guys, keys is also a very important topic. They were also asking about candidate keys. What is foreign key? Foreign key is very important. So you should know all these concepts. Okay, you should be able to explain them. And then afterwards, guys, they were also asking sub queries. So SQL, MySQL was a important thing, right? So they were asking queries from almost everybody. This is an important thing. Now, when we move to the next section, that is DS and Algo. When we talk of DS and Algo, guys, most of the questions in round one, that is your first interview, were of easy level. They were asking about arrays, what are arrays and how will you find the second largest element of an array and so on. Some questions like these, right? They were asking concepts about string, string builder and so on. What is mutability, immutability? And there were many questions. Guys, then afterwards, when we talk of the second round, those who cleared the first round, they were going to the second round. They were asking most of the questions from stacks, queues, trees, and in trees also, binary search trees were the main focus, right? So you should know what is binary search tree and what is the difference between B tree and binary search tree. You should also know what is AVL tree, right? What is the full form? That also you should know, guys. And when we talk of graph traversals, you should know BFS. What is BFS? How will you implement that? DFS. You should know all the sorting algorithms, guys. When will you use merge sort? When to use quick sort? Guys, they were also asking about the sorting algorithms. You should know when to use merge sort, when to use quick sort and what is the time complexity, right? Guys, time complexity and space complexities are very important, be it of LE algorithm or any sorting algorithm. Okay, so you should know all these things. Okay, then afterwards, we have talked about BFS, GFS. What is minimum spanning tree? They were asking a lot of times. What is spanning tree? You should know what is the difference between spanning tree and minimum spanning tree. How you can implement that? Okay. And what is this algorithm and what will be the time complexity of that? And what is single source shortest path algorithm? So they were asking all these things. So you should know all the basics and how these things are getting implemented also. Like what they may ask, right? How will you find the diameter of a BST? Or what is the height of a binary search tree? How will you do pre-order traversal through a code? So you may write the code. That's the easy one. Okay. So you have to know all these things also. They may ask you what is quick sort? What is heap sort? Can you tell me what is the difference between maximum heap, min heap? Can you write the code as well? You should know the algorithms also, right? And what is the time complexity of that? Min heap and max heap is again very important. BST versus B tree is again very important topic, guys. And all the traversals. They may also ask what is stack and can you give me stack implementation? What is peak function? And difference between circular queue and DQ. All these things you should know, right? So this, these were the questions which were asked from our batch. And when we talk of linked list guys, the most frequently asked question was, 
how to reverse a single link list they may also ask how to reverse a double link list but the most frequently asked question was how to reverse a single link list guys this video i have already uploaded in hindi and guys i have already uploaded a playlist based on link list for interviews okay i have uploaded almost 21 videos in that playlist guys okay so that is in hindi if you know hindi do watch that link is in description and they were asking how will you detect a loop in a single link list that is also again a question so this was all about ds and algo guys most of the questions are asked from your cv whatever you write in your resume they most of the time they ask you those questions only so i wrote java that's why they asked me questions from java so now let's discuss those questions they asked me what is serialization in java okay that is a unique concept you must know that concept then they gave me two papers and they asked me to solve those questions right so they were asking what will be output of this particular program so you should know all the basic concepts in order to solve those small small questions right the interviewer asked me guys what is thread life cycle and what is files in java guys one of the question asked from me was how will you fetch the data from a file and you will store how will you store that data in a uh, column format in some excel sheet so that was again a tricky question right and guys again they may ask you what is multi threading what are the ways of multi threading diamond problem in java this is also one of the most frequently asked question guys i have already uploaded this video in hindi Guys, I have already uploaded a playlist for Java interview series, so you can check that link is in description again, right? And they were also asking about collection framework, what is array list, uh, what is the difference between array list and vector. Okay, you should know all these basic concepts. And guys, if you know Java, you must also know uh, at least basics of advanced Java. So they were asking what is JSP, what is servlets, how JSP is better, why we need JSP, right? And interface versus abstract class, that is the most uh, common question. Then they were also asking write the code of database connection in Java. how will you connect your database code to your uh, source code right so these were the some of these most frequently asked question method overriding versus method overloading so you should know all these things now when we talk of the hr interview that is the non technical part they were asking what do you know about our company why you want to join tcs only do you know what is currently going on in our company these were some of the uh, most frequently asked questions they were asking why tcs what are your hobbies they may also ask about your hobbies guys and one important thing is they may also ask you puzzles right so for the puzzles guys you can refer geeks for geeks website a lot of puzzles are available over there and guys one more important thing you should know who was the ceo of the company or who is the current ceo of the company who was the founder right so you should know all these questions you should also know about the basic trending technologies like what is uh, big data or what is cloud computing okay if you know about machine learning ai or data science it can be any technology if you know more than one that's very good that's great but you should know at least one right so that if the interviewer ask you do you know any trending technology so you can tell them that yes sir i know about cloud computing and whatever you know about cloud computing so guys you should tell to the interview okay so that will be helpful so you should also do that so that's it from this video these were all the list of question asked from me and from my friends okay if you want to read more questions you can refer geeks for geeks website guys a lot of students share their experiences on geeks for geeks website so you can refer that also if you are new to the channel consider subscribing do support this channel guys this is my new channel and guys if you know hindi do watch my hindi videos they will be very beneficial so guys i have uploaded a lot of videos almost 300 videos are uploaded there cryptography series i have uploaded and so on a lot of questions so do check that channel guys and yeah that's it you can join my telegram channel link is in description thank you so much for watching take care goodbye